The truth is, the only people who ever fantasize about a daily driver supercar are the ones who can t really afford them. When the pinnacle of vehicular engineering and design escapes your financial reach, you dream of bundling your practical needs and performance desires into one generalist purchase. By contrast, those with the wherewithal to purchase a new supercar almost certainly can afford one or more additional cars to tackle family hauling and other utilitarian duties. This reality liberates engineers to design supercars without compromises. Sure, everyone has to comply with safety regulations, but if there is no concern for trunk space, fuel economy, or affordable build materials, the restrictions on automotive visionaries are few. But what happens when an automaker tries to build the do-it-all supercar, one that is comfortable and agile, sharp and subtle, powerful and tame? That is precisely the challenge Audi underwent in 2007 with its first generation R8, and now its successor seeks to improve the total package. Modern, not mental. Supercars don't exactly have a mold like every other segment of vehicle. Each automaker attempts to push the boundaries of engineering and styling in its own way, but all step out of their comfort zone to some degree. Here is the first step on the 2017 Audi R8S alternate path. The low-slung coupe uses sharp creases, carbon fiber accents, and a mid-engine layout to distinguish itself from lesser sports cars, but it does not command attention in the same way as rivals like the McLaren 570S and Lamborghini Huracan. My Dynamite Red Tester is about as bold as you can configure the new R8, at least until the spider and its golden yellow paint become available, yet onlookers Don T seem to react to the car with the same stupefied expression as other, more artistic models. But what the R8 yields in flash, it makes up for in cohesive design. The angular body is one of the most futuristic shapes ever to roll off of production line. While some supercars can be confused as some new Ferrari or Lamborghini, comma, sorry McLaren, the R8 is almost immediately recognized as an Audi even if the nameplate is unknown. That is because Audi's latest models are all characterized by piercing LED headlights and taillights, ornate wheel designs, and angular bodies. Though the second generation R8 maintains its predecessor S silhouette, every body panel has been re-sculpted to give the subtle supercar new life. A platinum mesh hexagonal grille dominates the front end, and is flanked by sets of blacked out strakes to divide the air inlets. Audi has extended the new R8S roof line and fastback spectacle, while the iconic side blades have been replaced with two pieces of carbon fiber the lower of which channels air into the engine bay. The rectangular rear houses a pair of trapezoidal cheeks with thin LED taillights and honeycomb grates to help cool the mighty motor. Aerodynamic accents are restricted to a carbon fiber front splitter, rear wing and diffuser. Wake up, Chuck! For such a modest exterior, the 2017 R8 V10 Plus has no qualms asserting itself. Nestled just by